A big announcement by Walmart. The retail giant plans to replace paper shelf labels with digital price screens in 2300 stores, and that includes some here in our area. KTLA 5's Orange County Bureau Chief Chip Yost live now in Westminster with the details. Chip. Uh, yeah, hey there, Glenn. Uh, Walmart has already been testing these digital price labels in some of its stores. I don't know if this one here in Westminster is one of them or not. I haven't been in there to see if they're using those kinds of labels yet. But even if you saw them, you might not know their digital price labels. Take a look at these pictures and some video provided to us by Walmart that shows what these new digital price labels in the stores will look like. You see, they look a lot like paper labels, but they're not. They can be changed digitally using an app and they can be changed within minutes instead of walking around an entire store and changing labels as they have to do traditionally. They say they have 120,000 items in their stores and sometimes it can take a couple of days when they have to do their weekly price changes and go around the stores and manually change all of those labels. So they say this will make the employees more efficient, the store more efficient, and also help in restocking and in other areas. However, there are some concerns that being able to change the prices so quickly could lead to some unexpected surprises when you go to the store. Remember what happened with Wendy's earlier this year. Wendy's announced it was going to a digital menu and that they might try out some dynamic pricing. Critics screamed out they thought that Wendy's might try to use surge pricing like you see used by Uber. That is when demand is high you could walk in for a cheeseburger and end up paying a lot more than you expected for that cheeseburger because you came during a busy time. Wendy's quickly pushed back on that put out a statement saying they are not going to use surge pricing. They are not going to increase pricing during the busy times and in fact said what the idea is is that they could offer discounts during slower times. As for Walmart, how it might use this new technology. Well, customers are a little skeptical as well there. I don't think it's going to be a good thing. I just think that they'll change it too often and you know, the price that might be like online is something that if it's something good and then they come come to the store and it's going to be more than you expected. Now, a Walmart executive was asked about that at a meeting yesterday. Reuters, the news agency, actually quoted that executive. Let's put that quote up on your screen now. This is what the executive told Reuters. And when asked about how these might be used, he said, it is absolutely not going to be one hour, it is this price, and the next hour, it is not. So that's how they addressed it. We did put in a request for an interview with someone from Walmart today. Haven't heard back just yet. For now, reporting live here in Westminster, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News.